Greetings internet and happy Sunday. First of all, I have quite a bit of thanking to do because one of my previous videos is now over 100 views and for me, who thought this channel was not going to go particularly far or not exactly strike interest with a quite a large amount of people, like for me now 100 people seems a lot, like that's a lot. There's also quite a lot going on down there so I might have to close my window. Let's do that now. That's better. That's a bit quieter. It is very hot in Birmingham. Second, the heat wave just seems to be warm absolutely everywhere, which I'm not complaining about, but it does make my room extremely hot. That's the only thing. But I'm, I'm happy that there's sunshine. So back to my point. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching these videos, liking, subscribing. I very much appreciate it. Okay, and now on to today's topic. Today I'm going to talk to you about UCAS and that application process, the university application process. It's, it's, it's horrible and it's long, but it's necessary. That is what I'm going to tell you. Um, so my first point, I'm going to talk about like the first however many pages of like information you have to put down. I can't stress this enough, go through it slowly, don't rush it because it's taking a long time, go through it slowly and check every single thing because if you do something wrong then you're going to have to restart your application and I think you have to pay again, I think. So I definitely recommend checking absolutely everything before you submit it. That's my first little tip for you. It is also crazy, crazy important that you save your application, like every page or every little section that you do, save it because I went through it a couple of times and it was deleted. So please just, just, just save it. Every little thing you do, just save it because then you don't have to sit through and do your application like three times over because that's always fun. And I think I remember having to do that a couple of times. So yeah, please make sure that you save everything everything to do with your application every little step just just save it for for your own sanity save it personal statements you've probably heard about personal statements and they are probably the longest most stressful part of the whole applicating applicating application process it's 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 what the it's the first thing that unis are going to see from you like until you go in for an interview or I don't know actually go to your course the first thing that they're actually going to like see from you is your personal statement you are that piece of paper you are that however many words it's allowed to be so I do have some tips I do have a little paragraph layout thing this is how I did it so I'm gonna go through it because it is, I can't stress, I keep saying I can't stress this enough. If I'm saying it, honestly, it is ridiculously important. So please, 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 if you're watching this video to get advice, please listen to this advice. I will tell you what to put in each paragraph and how to lay it out. And please listen, because it's really important. And I think it's what got me interviews at every single university that I'd applied for. Yeah, yeah. I had an interview at every single university I applied for. And I think because I have quite a strong personal statement, like in my opinion. So I'm going to go through the paragraphs and what I mentioned in each paragraph. First paragraph of your personal statement should probably specifically about yourself. And I'm reading it off of my little, my little notebook where I've got all of my video plans in. I'd like list down what I need to say so that I don't ramble too much because that's how I, you got a 14 minute video last week because I rambled and I didn't write enough stuff down to actually talk about. I just talked about nothing like I'm doing right now. So you should talk about yourself and your school achievements. So when I say school achievements, I mean things like um, GCSE grades and maybe like specific awards that you've got for doing good work that kind of stuff this is the kind of time where you need to bring out all of your old certificates even the ones from like year seven that you can blag and say hey I got this you want to like bring out all your old certificates write down ones that are like quite specific so like maybe 
um, teacher faculty certificates or like achievement in this subject like if it's specifically a subject that you want to go into at university then I suggest you put it down as you that you've got like an award or been recognized as doing well in that subject I think is the best way of explaining that right your second paragraph why you are right for the course you are applying for so in this you kind of want to talk about like your experiences with the subject or like any school trips that you've been on or like family days out where you can kind of just talk about why you're interested in the subject and why you think you'd be good for it you also don't want to be like yeah i know everything because that's not the point you're going to university you're going to university to learn more about your subject so you don't want to say that you know absolutely everything and that's why i'm perfect for it because if you knew everything then you wouldn't have to go to university so i suggest that that's the kind of thing that you talk about talk about like days out or experiences that you've had that specifically like to do with your subject or just pick one specific one and go into it a bit more and explain look I've done this so it shows that I have an interest in that subject I spoke about I don't think I've actually ever mentioned what course I do on this channel no I haven't so I'm quite a creative person I'm on a creative course I won't mention specifically the full name of it because then you can search up my university and know where I study because and as much as I appreciate the fact that I've got 100 views on one of my videos I don't really want to be stalked so I'm on a creative course that's um quite theatre based but it's not musical theatre I'm not doing musical theatre because I'm not um so I spoke a lot about like trips to the theatre and like ex exhibitions that I'd been to that kind of related to the course that I'm on. I mentioned that kind of thing because it shows that you have an interest in what you're doing. If you don't have an interest, then they're not going to be looking. They're not going to be looking for people that are just applying for the sake of it. They want to look for people that are serious about coming on the course and can show that they have an interest or like experience in that kind of like area right a third paragraph you want to talk about out of school things so i spoke about work experience and duke of edinburgh award my duke of edinburgh award i've done my bronze and my silver i put that all down and it's i think it's one of like the highest ranking things that um like extracurricular activities that universities look for in um, students applying so I suggest if you get the chance to do it definitely do it even if you just do your bronze it's definitely worth it I had a really good time on my Duke of Edinburgh so I definitely recommend that you do it and it looks really really good both on your CV and your personal statement so I definitely recommend that you do that um, I also put work experience on there when I was in year 10 so when I was 15 I think I had to do like mandatory two weeks work experience which was great and it was specifically linked to theatre so I was able to very very easily slip that in and be like hey I've had experience I kind of know what goes on backstage and like I've been in shows as well so I do like sing and stuff but that's a little bit different um so I thought that would be something interesting to put in also shows that I obviously have an interest in working in theatre and yeah it shows that I'm passionate about it and that's I think that really helped as well because it showed like even being backstage you get you get definitely you get an experience from just being backstage so I think anything along those lines of experience definitely put in your third paragraph so your fourth paragraph you want to summarize why you deserve that place on that course don't really mention don't mention universities specifically like don't say um oh i don't know nottingham university i really want to go here i'd be perfect for this course don't mention actual university names in your personal statement because that personal statement is going around to all the universities that you're applying for and if one university sees that you have like more of an inclination or more of a desire to go somewhere else then they're not going to be bothered if they think that you're not bothered with them they're not going to bother with you i know that's harsh but it's the truth really so yeah definitely don't put specific universities in there 
be very diplomatic about it and try and cover like bits of the syllabus that universities share so all of my courses like had a similar um like running thing like semester one was this semester two was this like creating a foundation and then going moving on from that and exploring different bits of work and all that kind of thing so yeah don't specialize and be like hey this university was great so i'm going to specifically write my personal statement to get into that university i don't really i don't actually know anyone that's done that but i would assume that there are many that have probably targeted one university but then not actually got in or wasn't accepted through a personal statement or whatever reason so yeah don't specifically mention universities just be an all-rounder and explain why you're a good person and why you're a responsible person i would i think that's quite an important thing to put down um but yeah i think that's kind of, yeah that's all of your personal statement you don't want to make it too long it can only be like 38 lines or something or like 1200 characters it's something like that and it's quite irritating but you know you have to do it um i got my personal statement checked maybe six or seven times before i had to like put it in before that was it and i had to put it in and send it off but it's very important your teachers are going to be there to help you so use them to your advantage make sure that they check your personal statement every single time to make sure even like stupid little things like spelling mistakes that's the kind of thing that universities pick up on as well if they see that like you haven't checked your spelling properly or like the grammar's wrong or whatever then they're gonna be like oh okay um like specifically if you're on like particularly academic courses then that's the kind of thing they're going to specifically look out for like english literature or like geography maybe and history specifically history they will definitely look at like your grammar your punctuation and like your spelling and stuff like that so i would just be very careful and make sure you that you have someone else to check it for you even if it's a parent or a friend or someone else that has been through university or gone through the process just definitely ask them just to check it through for you and then you'll be good to go so that pretty much wraps up today's video i don't know how long this is i think it's it's going to be longer than 10 minutes but i don't know how much longer than 10 minutes it's going to be we'll see um again i want to thank you so so much for all of the support and all of the views and subscriptions subscribing subscription subscribers all of the new subscribers hello welcome to this channel um thank you is basically what i'm gonna say uh wednesday wednesday you're gonna get a vlog from cadbury world i went to cadbury's world and i got a lot of free chocolate and had a lot of fun so I was very excited about that. Even the fake drum roll, like, really? Oh, but then I'm saying that it's Cadbury World. I got a lot of free chocolate and I was quite hyper all day. And I went with a couple of my flatmates. So it's going to be a fun video, hopefully. Fingers crossed and I hope you enjoy it. So I will see you on Wednesday. Have a lovely rest of your evening slash week. And yeah, like and subscribe. And I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, everyone.